Hi Cancer, welcome to your quantum reading. This is for Cancer, Sun, Moon, Rising. Welcome to my cross watchers. Cross watcher, you could be dealing with a Cancer. Message could be for you, so take it. However it resonates with you in your situation. Keep in mind, as always, that these are general and timeless readings. Everything is located down below in the description box, so website link, Instagram handle, all that good stuff. And thank you guys so much for liking, subscribing, thank you for all the ways you've been here and supported the channel. Let's dive in, see what's going on with your massage. An energy check-in. <laughs> Hunger. I don't know if you guys are a little bit more disciplined in a way. Oh, and then we have ghosts. Okay. okay. That's so funny. I was going to bring this up. So we have this reawakening happening and then we have an oracle. Okay. So I don't know if you guys have actually connected with someone that you felt like predicted something or you could have communicated with someone that you maybe it was a tarot reader or a psychic or someone like that and there could have been a ghosting like someone could have ghosted this is a tricky situation because i do understand ghosting being who yeah and there's a difference between no contact and ghosting and i'm not totally sure like that could have been something that was going on there's a person here that's going through a reawakening you could you could either be predicting something or you see how this energy looks so there's almost like a lightning bolt here so there was some kind of chaotic situation that happened and there's a person here that could have gone silent or gone quiet all of a sudden um and that looks like what happened here it was like the foundation of some kind of process that you could have moved into now there's this awakening happening where either someone is understanding certain things that happen but this was the like catalytic point like something something serious was happening here in this moment and there's a person here that if this would felt really overwhelming could have just like pulled back their energy because of what was going on in the situation, you know? This can be almost like survival moments or something about intuition. What the? That was weird. So it looks like those are kind of interconnected. Go back up there. Okay. <laughs> That's so funny. Uh, I mean, it's, it's not funny. Like, people ghosting. I actually didn't know this. And it can have all of these adverse effects that I had no clue about. Probably a lot of this. Five of Pentacles, Seven of Swords. So this feels like something that happened. This was like a thing. So it looks like you have a person in your life. You could have felt like they ghosted you or some of you guys. This is a typical water sign thing. Not all of them do it, but it's like a water thing. Yeah, even... I'm not even making this up. The tower came out above. So... It's pretty much talking exactly about that situation and what happened there. Queen of Wands is in the reverse. Okay, so this Queen of Wands person, right now they could feel um, rejected, abandoned, or discarded. That's pretty much what's happening here. Eight of Pentacles is in the reverse. This person is struggling with work or um, accomplishing something right now. We have the Lovers, Gemini Energy, and then we have the Three of Wands reverse.
Knight of Swords. That's going on in the mind. Looks like you want to tell someone off or say something about them. And then Eight of Swords in the outcome. I think I might want to get one more card. Oh, nice. Okay. The full card right after. That's a good combo. That's like freeing yourself. All right. So, looks like pretty much what happened. There was this, like, wow, the tower. It happened like there was a person that you were connected to and they went through something really chaotic. So this is kind of giving more of an explanation. If you felt like this person ghosted you or they just disappeared out of nowhere, it could have been that they had some kind of chaotic or crazy situation pop up and they just disappeared. That's kind of what I'm seeing going on here. For you, Cancer, it could have had these all, all of these um, adverse repercussions because I did look it up recently because I was like, there are these different things that are have like different ways of affecting people. No contact has its own category. And that can also bring up these kind of feelings and emotions. Like there's a person here that um, could have been affected here. You might have like, it looks like there's a person that you want to be connected to because we have the lovers here. Some of you guys, you're either in a relationship or you're moving into one. Um, and it looks like there were some lies or deceit that happened here. And now this queen of wands person, if this is a fire sign, um, some of you guys, if, if someone ghosted you, you could have felt like this had all of these repercussions that you weren't really expecting. And, um, it can bring up these emotions of feeling rejected, but no contact can do that too, which is why it depends on the situation that you guys are dealing with. But the Queen of Wands reverse, yeah, like it actually can kind of decrease the energy or it has all these adverse effects that you would never expect. And so that's kind of, it can like, stop what's growing in your life and so this could be about getting things back on track if that did happen to you and coming up with your own closure but there is a relationship coming together right here with the lover's card I think someone straight up got discarded if you had a person that you've been dealing with in your life and you're kind of aware of this person this feels like someone's separate cancer like, it feels like someone else in your life, and they... You could be aware of this person, and you could have seen that they actually, um, like, for a bit lost attraction, or something like that. Do you know what I mean? Those are very real things that happen, because, like, if you're in a relationship, you can, like, tell a lot. It doesn't mean that everyone looks perfect in all relationships and it's not about perfection but health wise like people can look better or worse depending on the partnership that they have um but there can always be a shot i'm not even gonna get into it it's like there's also a shadow side of that too which can have this whole like um I don't even want to get into it, but there's a person here that felt like they lost attraction or they, um, like confidence was this fire sign energy is like struggling with confidence. So the details of this tower, it's going to be like, if the tower is talking about this queen of wands and this is kind of going into the depths of a person that you feel like just ghosted you in your life. It could have been a person here that didn't feel very attractive and was, like, doing these things, like, behind the scenes to a person that you feel connected to. And it could have come across as, like, Queen of Wands Reverse is not pretty. 
this is like rage, jealousy, envy, and it's like, um, it's very intense human. And so that could have been the underlying issue. And it's not to say that that's, there's a lot of like growth that's happening around boundaries and communication, communicating accurately. But as far as I see it, I don't think that this was anything, it wasn't intentional. It was probably immature because the Knight of Swords can talk about like there's more growth that needs to happen for this person's this person learning how to stand up for themselves or it's you cancer this could be maybe something that will happen <laughs> but yeah this person if this is a queen of wands and they were starting to act really fiery toward you because they i don't know this is like some kind of weird thing it's either that this person this person feels like you ghosted them because maybe it felt so overwhelming elements of the situation that you, um, sometimes like certain people, if they don't have the right communication skills to navigate the situation and to assert the proper boundaries that are needed, then there can just be a shutdown. Like it literally is like an overstimulant, you know, internally. And that's what I see going on for a particular person. So it looks like um, there could be some frustrations because the Knight of Swords up there in your mind, you could have felt like this really affected you and um, looking at the reality of that and you could have felt like there were blockages in your manifestation and that's a very real thing too and it happens all across the board so you'll even see if someone goes to you i can guarantee that someone goes to them and there's all these lessons that have to be learned about this whole situation but it is going to say that when this runs its course um when you get officially released from the like energy or you free yourself you're you are going to break out of this eight of swords and then the full card right next to it is a really good combo and there there is a partnership formulating right there but yeah this is all very legit if you google ghosting i just never knew you know <laughs> i had heard about things like that but when people have done it in the past i've never really gotten hung up on it um i don't know but it is a very real thing and you should take it serious and um yeah i can see like internally either you have some words to say to this person <laughs> or there's someone else like there's something going on like that with communications they're all kind of internal but yeah let me dive into the extended if you guys want to join me over there feel free go down below click on the vimeo link see it over there but cancer if this is where we leave things sending you so much love wishing you all the very best see you in the next reading take care